and welcome back to another episode of Aerodynamics of Hypercars. Today we're going to be looking at the active aerodynamics of the Ferrari La Ferrari. And this has a few active aerodynamic components. We've got an active front under tray, an active rear under tray, and we've got an active rear spoiler. So I'm just going to start with a, um, a video from Ferrari. And this video basically shows um, some of the aerodynamic components. This was the launch video, so we can see that the spoiler rises there. So under the under tray, we've got these flaps along here. It goes to the back, flaps at the bottom, and the rear at the top. It's a bit quick, so it's a bit hard to see what's going on. So I've broken it down frame by frame here. We have the front under tray flaps here. Now, similar to the, um, the Koenigsegg in the 918, these flaps there and there are basically blocking off the, uh, the tire venting, which as I mentioned before, is very much an aero balance issue as much as it is an efficiency issue. And I wouldn't anticipate huge efficiency gains as much as I would a big aero balance shift when you retract your rear aero. Looking in the center though, this is the feature that's different on the LaFerrari and it's got this central vent. And the videos show that these vents or um, panels actually go downwards when they're being deployed. Now, I'm not sure if that's just a dramatization of the video because I would have thought that tilting these panels downwards would block the floor, which I would have thought would have blocked efficiency because you would have both decreased your downforce and increased your drag. So that was a problem. But I think they're actually running these flat because what it looks like up here in the video, it's hard to make out, but there's a little slot and I'm wondering if that's not a secondary diffuser exit to kind of act like a front diffuser. I think that might be what they're trying to get at and this might be venting out elsewhere along the car. So between these three flaps, they can block all this off. I'm not sure if it's any better than the Koenigsegg system, but it is different. Moving back to the rear on the video, we can see that they highlighted these rear diffuser flaps and the rear wing. Now these diffuser flaps go up and down in conjunction with the wing to change the downforce. If we look at how they look like in real life, we can see that they're basically these two panels here. And it's kind of weird because they kind of like block off half the diffuser channel, but not the whole thing. And when you think about it, the diffuser is inherently actually a drag reduction device. It fills in the wake behind the car, thus improving your efficiency by reducing the low pressure region. And why would you want to block off the diffuser? It doesn't make too much sense. But I thought about this a lot more. I thought that what's probably happening is, is that as they retract this rear, rear wing, their fairly steep diffuser angle here with the flaps retracted anyway, that fairly steep angle probably can't be supported without the support from this rear wing. So it probably separates and stores. So by dropping these down, they can probably keep it attached so they're not getting losses there. This is also the outlet for the cooling here of the engine. So I'm thinking that this outlet for cooling is filling a lot of the wake. And then with these down and that down, they're still getting reasonable wake fill and even though they're not perfectly filling the wake by having this come up, I assume that their improvement in induced drag from lift is what they're trying to get at here. Looking in the uh, high downforce configuration, we can see that this is with the flaps up and I'm still not 100% happy on these because looking close up, we can see that they don't seem to mount flush. They may have a vent over the top and they may be some sort of support, but they don't seem to be quite ideal. I'd have to see the front of the diffuser to be sure though. Looking at the rear wing, it's not really a wing. It's actually a lip spoiler. And I don't fully approve of this. I agree that it's a good looking solution, but I feel like they could have gone for a more efficient wing or something like that, like all the other manufacturers have done. And I think that this is one of the reasons why LaFerrari's coefficient of downforce is actually so much lower than the other guys. Looking at the wing on track, we can see that with it deployed, I believe this is looking like an air brake position or something because if this airflow is coming over, we're going to end up with this acting like a giant gurney flap. And it really is giant. It's a giant gurney flap and spoiler. So you would anticipate some downforce from this, but it's not going to be a very efficient form of downforce. I know that the diffuser will be filling in that gap behind the car all right, but you've still got this big area behind the wing that's not going to work so well. So from that point of view, I'm not 100% sold on this being the best active aerodynamic solution, which is why I've ranked this car below the P1 and the 1 to 1. I also believe that Ferrari is working something with the front brake ducts and this uh, cooling vent here 
but it's hard to find detailed specifics on what they're doing there. Safe to say it would largely be a drag reduction. So that's all for the aerodynamic analysis of the active aerodynamics of the LaFerrari. Thanks for watching and enjoy the other videos. Thank you.